Mayor Gina Lichty announced last Monday that the city of Goshen will be recognizing November 19th as Women's Entrepreneurship Day from this year forward. In partnering with women-owned businesses in the area, the city of Goshen will be joining the worldwide movement of supporting women in business. It's uh, joining part of a global movement, and also she's uh, this Goshen is also joining South Bend, Indiana, who signed the proclamation. Mishawaka, the city of Mishawaka, signed the proclamation, and the governor of Indiana. So it really, I feel like it really puts um, the city of Goshen on the map. Cindy Cohen is the founder and president of See to Your Health Women's Initiative, a support network for all women looking towards entrepreneurship. I'm a little bit older and I've been in business a pretty long time. I have over 30 years of experience in entrepreneurship and it's, I mean, it's not easy for women. I mean, it's not easy for anyone to be an entrepreneur, but studies show that went for women, it's 25% harder than it is for men. Studies reflect Cohen's claims that it's harder for women in business and Goshen is falling behind. During the city council meeting, Mayor Lichty made the comparison that only 17% of businesses in Goshen are owned by women, a figure that sits at 37% statewide. Sonia Smith, founder and CEO of Wealth in Motion, a financial consulting firm, is sure Goshen is on the right track thanks to local leadership. Having a leader in a, in a um, city that's um, supporting shows that the leadership is going to um, have mechanisms in place to support and mentor women. And I think that's going to impact the whole economy here in the city and everyone is going to benefit. Finally, Stacy Black of Michiana Women Rise has been working with the city of Goshen and Cohen to start this initiative and is confident that connections between entrepreneurs will lead to significant progress. I would like to just encourage women to keep connecting, um, networking, meet up with people, um, women in business, entrepreneurs, just um, keep reaching out, keep making those connections. For Globe News, I'm Seth Smith-Kaufman.